Today, students and teachers in Wayne County are devastated by the loss of two of their brightest. A mother and her 18-year-old daughter and 10-year-old son were all killed in a crash in Tennessee over the weekend. LEX 18's Kylan Mills has the story. Today, an empty feeling in the halls and hearts at Monticello Elementary. I walked by his locker and saw his locker tag and I had to unlock my door and um, I just thought I don't know how I can look at his chair. Sure. It was really hard. Teachers and students remember fifth grader Ivan Matea. Caring, friendly, and always happy. An 11 year old who defined his life by family, sports, and God. They've been drawing and writing pictures, have been um, playing soccer, and he loved the color green, and so a lot of them have drawn his black and green soccer ball <laughs> and um, just pictures of him you know, in the sky. The family was driving through Tennessee when a crash claimed the life of Ivan, his mother, and 18-year-old sister Emily. Four others in the SUV were hurt. I was stunned. Nothing could have stunned me more than to see that. Emily was also a standout student at Wayne County High School, involved in JROTC, Relay for Life, and a student worker at the library. Emily was vibrant and outgoing. She truly loved life. Students and teachers say while they know Emily and Ivan are in a better place, they wish they could have said just one last goodbye. Thanks for being so kind, and you, you made an impact. I know you don't, I know you don't know that, but... Covering the news in Wayne County, Kylan Mills, LEX 18 News. People in that community are working to put together a fund to help the surviving family members through this tough time. As soon as we get that information, we'll post it on our website, lex18.com.